Hello and welcome to the 365 Project. <laughs> morning, morning. Monday morning. Monday morning. Day 43 of the 365 Project. Had a little snooze. But now I'm ready to go. Wow, now I'm ready to go. Oh, jump on the scales. Get self ready, turned over and get into work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Oh wow, still a bit tired. Need to move that little bit of snooze. But, can it be lying around now? Gotta get a move on. Get this day kick started into gear. Whew. Yeah. Get this day into gear. So then get myself to work. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Five past eight. Absolutely flew into work today. Happy days. There must be a school holiday on or something. I don't actually know. I don't have any children, so I'm not really down with the school holidays, if you feel me. But uh, there wasn't a car on the road, so I literally just motored in. <laughs> motored in. Um, which is nice. It's a nice, reasonable start of the day. Jumped on the scales this morning, with it being Monday. <clears throat> and uh, I had a little target in mind, if I could uh, get past 16 stone 12... Then I would be the lightest that I have been since Fitbits were a thing. And the results are in. And I didn't uh, I didn't get past the 12. 16, 12. I uh, pretty much smashed it and got to 16, 10. So if I was 17, 1, what's that for? Five pounds off? Five loss? Hey, hey. I'll take that. I will ah. I will ah. So, according to the scales, the lightest since Fitbits were a thing. That's a that's a win win for me. That's that's a result. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. Um, hopefully today is gonna go according to plan, and we won't get it ruined by shenanigans and unpleasantness so it's probably best getting to work get this day done it's lunchtime <laughs> hello and welcome yes to the highlight reel to the highlight reel and I didn't even tell him to say that that's literally his own doing <laughs> just trying to do my bit to promote you respect respect so as we all know, Craig, today's Monday. It is. And we all know what happens on a Monday. Yeah. You're going to tell me what happens on a Monday because we all know. Weigh-in day. Yes, it is. It's weigh-in day. Drum roll. So, spoiler alert for you because you're here. I am here. And people won't actually see this until later. Um, I was on 17 stone one. And if I could beat 16, 12, I am the lightest I've ever been since Fitbits were a thing. Bearing in mind the start and uh, the start and weight of this was like just shy of 21 stone. Yeah. So I'm now like 16, 10 I think it was. Is that three clem, three, three stone. 
makes me happy as I did in my previous car clip which you haven't seen but everybody else will have seen lightest ever eh lightest ever there you go can't do your judo shit at me now you can't you can't you can't throw me about like a rag doll of course I can't I can. yeah but I've converted it all into incredible man strength <laughs> you know incredible man strength yeah, yeah. None of this. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, like, I can chuck people about in that now. It's like Incredible Hulk, but not as clothes rippy. Not so rippy. If you say so, mate. Yeah. yeah. So there you go, people. There's the update. We beat the target. We beat last time's target as well, like the overall target. So next, next target, I suppose, is oh, that is my car. Next target is uh, 16 stone. Can we get to 16 without any major hiccups? I'll have to find out. Wait and see. Yeah. If Why are you doing your walk? If it keeps on going like it is, I don't see there being any problems. So yeah, there you go people. Result. Craig's back to work, son. Gotta work hard. We don't have to, but uh, your employer generally prefers it if you do. Yeah, I'm going to go for part two of the afternoon walk because I've only got a couple of thousand steps in so far. Although, cheers, mate. Although I did see Gemma May, and uh, yeah, it was just like, well, let's talk about banter and that. So yeah, fair play, you like. The competitive edge is there, definitely, if uh, it's up to you to kind of push the envelope or envelope, depending on where you're from. Um, yeah, and we'll get involved in the, uh, in the bants. Let's have a quick look at where I'm at now. Four thousand eight hundred ish just under 5,000. So that's good. Anywhere about 6,000 and above when I get home is kind of where you want to be and then it just makes the evenings walks a little less long although saying that it's not been so cold today it's not very sunny but a bit cloudy but in it stays like this i won't have any problems going out on the evening because uh the conditions aren't so brutal if that makes sense uh i didn't sink up over lunch so far. I'll do it when I get back to my desk so I don't know who's winning the hustles. I also kind of split the groups up um, in a roundabout way. I've got a work week hustle with all the all the ladies together. I've got a work week hustle with all the guys together. Just as a, I don't know, just like a bit of a social experiment I suppose. <laughs> um, just just for the banter really there was no malice in it or anything i just thought oh i wonder if we can do it like this so see if that makes a difference to anybody i don't know if it will like i said it was just something i thought i'd try um so yeah i've got people at work asking me when are you doing the work walk i'm like leave me alone <laughs> soon soon as i say i need to formulate a game plan and uh yeah plans in motion. We'll certainly keep everybody updated when uh, it happens. Also, just to clear up possible some confusion, this is more than likely going to be on a weekend. I'm sure I've said this before, um, but I think people are getting the impression that it's going to be like walking to work, then staying at work for eight hours, then walking home from work. No, 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 no. no it'll definitely be on a time when I'm not at work, probably the weekend. Um, when that's going to be, I'm not so sure yet. We will find out in due course. Just a quick one. Yeah, I've just switched on my 3G slash 4G. Um, got a couple of notifications come through. Uh, one of which was from you know who, YouTube, and telling me that there's another subscriber. 
Caroline, Caroline Catmull. I already thought you were a subscriber, you sneaky little so-and-so, yeah? Or maybe you are, I don't know. Or maybe you were, just maybe on a potentially different account. But uh, no, I just got the notification through that you've subscribed. Thank you very much, I appreciate the support. I will keep the content rolling, hopefully it'll uh, keep you hooked, <laughs> so to speak. If anything, I suppose at least you get to see how I'm, uh, how I'm keeping and how I'm getting on, because I know we don't see each other as often as we probably should. And I'm not saying that's your fault, I'm not saying it's my fault, but yeah. You've, you've hit the button and that's all I uh, all I wanted to say was a thank you and anyone else who you've uh, potentially got as friends, you know, maybe interested, people that want to get involved in the stepping game, want to get the fitness up, want to make positive changes for their lives, that kind of thing, share them the uh, links, the more the merrier. Thanks again. Another day, another load of stolen merchandise. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, I'm, uh, I'm not stealing from work, it's just a line from a classic episode of The Simpsons. You can even look it up if you like. It's when Homer's stealing pens from work. <laughs> but no, it's been, a, it's been a funny day. There's been a, a strange, a strange atmosphere. I'm not quite sure how to put it into words, but I don't know. I don't know. There's something, something's uh, a brewing. Something's a brewing. We on the boom seven thousand. As you can kind of see, it's still a little bit bright and a little bit blue skied. So yeah, if we can get home relatively quickly, we'll uh, get on board the. Um, GPS train, I think. I think I've cracked it. I think I know what I'm doing and what I need to do, so we'll, uh, we'll do that. See if I can get it with the beats this time. I like to think I can. Modern technology can't fail me now, right? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, get, get tonight's little bit of stepping done. Get the uh, step target selfie done. And then uh, get home and prep for tomorrow. Because we all know what's happening tomorrow, right? Um, yeah. All in all, I think it's been a good day so far. Good start of the day. Good uh, Monday results. Not so, not so bad a day at work. Yeah. Yeah, we've got cause for optimism. I think we've, I think we've had a good day. <sighs> Prep. For tomorrow. Here we are back at it again, people. The uh, walk after work. It's getting a bit of a ritual now. And uh, just a little bit of reflection on today in the fact that, according to my scales, I am the lightest I have ever been since I started using Fitbits and getting involved in all that kind of stuff. Um, Really happy, like really happy. Um, wasn't so much that it was like a proper goal, but I've just definitely now caught up to where I was last year when I kind of dropped off the pace doing these walks. So to now have reached there and now surpassed there is actually sensational and it's bringing unbelievable techers. Um, I was thinking that I was gonna have to like it was it was gonna plateau sort of thing the weight and it was gonna have to do more stuff to get more of a loss or to sustain the loss some weeks I'm losing a pound some weeks I'm losing four or five um, but we've beat it and we're still on the downward trend so I want to continue for as long as possible until literally <laughs> I'm walking bloody stumps into the ground and I'm putting weight on, you know. <laughs> but uh, please use this as inspiration for anybody who thinks, you know, I need to do something about, you know, how I am and, you know, maybe you just want to get a little bit fitter, maybe you've got medical reasons, stuff like that. Um, just take control. Take control, set yourself little targets. 
and then once you hit them little targets set another one and then once you hit that one set another one you see the pattern and then eventually what will happen is all those little targets add up to a big target so yeah yeah I'm happy I'm calm but I'm happy um, yeah anyone can do it it's it's all in here if you want something that badly you'll do what it takes to get it famous words Once again, a noticeable absentee from the work week hustle, Mr. Francis. You didn't do the weekend warrior. You haven't accepted the uh, work week hustle so far. Everything all right, Bonnie lad? You haven't broke your tracker, have you? <laughs> you haven't been fed up with life and the way things are going. You decided to rob a liquor store, but then suddenly your conscience came into play. No? I miss you and I want to see where you are again. I need to see your score above mine on a daily basis, so come back, Adam, come back. I still love you, mate. Banter, unbelievable banter. You know what I mean? As it stands, just under 10,000, which is decent. I think I'm gonna go the way I went yesterday, actually, which was right at Blake's as opposed to the left at Blake's and uh, don't go down the road to Tesco's but go down and round going towards Neville's Parade and uh, Stesway and all that kind of stuff so that way you're getting an extra like 4,000 down by the roundabout by Tesco's and then straight back down so Yeah, that was just a bit strange. Random, uh, random uh, street children coming up and wanting to be famous. However, they were interrupting me, so they got zero dimes. Zero dimes. <laughs> ah, this isn't going to be any good to anybody except one person, and we'll see if we can get it done. I don't think it's going to be light enough. It's not going to be light enough. <laughs> ah, an absolute nightmare. I was wanting to see if people could guess where I was, but I wanted to see if one person in particular could guess where I was. But by the time I've got round here, it's too dark. Oh, mate. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. On Brighton News. So the step target selfie is done. And I need to figure out how to get lights on the front of my phone when it comes to doing videos because it only works on pictures. <laughs> and at the moment, you can't see Nick's. There I am, look. Oh, hi. Lovely jubbly. It's uh, getting colder out here now, guys. I wish I brought my jacket. I think it may have been a mistake to leave it behind. I suppose I'll just uh, go a little faster and then, uh, yeah, I won't be as cold, will I? Yep. Time to get home ASAP. Busy schedule. I know you're a busy person, says the song on my headphones. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure every time I walk past Tesco's, then petrol prices are different, right? And they never say it would be lower. Ha ha ha. You know really one thing I don't like about people is when they have rat kids and then they let the rat kids go and do what they want. And they're like, sort of, oh yeah, I'll just like do this and do that. And I'm thinking, well, your life prospect is zero. You know what I mean? Parents aren't bothered. Kids don't know any different other than being little rats. To quote Chloe. Chloe used to like saying things with rats. 
some guy gonna try and murk us. But luckily for him, he slowed down. <laughs> See, I said luckily for him and not for me. <laughs> All right. Oh dear. That's a shame. I just had the, uh, when I was uh, back last year, when I was walking around these parts, doing my thing, making unbelievable progress, I might add, there was a group of women that would uh, congregate in this little car park here, which I don't know if you can see very well, just by behind the youth centre at Tesco's. And uh, all crafts, crafts? Paths crossed. <laughs> quite a number of times and uh, I've just seen about four or five of them there just crossed the road but I didn't realise because I was looking at the camera if I'd have known sooner I would have tried to get them in shot because they all know what it's what it's all about they all know the dance you know what I mean I don't know how warm it is but it's not very <laughs> um, I just don't know what to have for tea tonight I'm thinking maybe active fryer potatoes and Sausages and carrots, maybe? Yeah, I haven't had that in a little while, so we'll go a while for that. Um, I'm gonna go down Burn Lane as well. I was gonna go left, but then I thought, nah, I'll not go left. I'll go straight down, straight down Burn Lane. I'm getting a lot of light flare going on, which doesn't normally happen. Yeah, uh, can't really get rid of it. That's a nightmare. Or 12 and a half thousand, 13,000 steps. <sighs> We're over the uh, 11,000 target. So, tick another one of those days off. Tick. Now, about getting home, pretty sharpish. Toilet breaks are needed, drinks are needed, food is needed. <laughs> so, that's the clean sweep, then, yeah? Aye. Aye. There we go, people. Done and done. Now let me turn this light on because it's behind the door. There we go. <laughs> done and done. Uh, oh, I wonder if the GPS has worked. Because if it hasn't, then I need to seriously think about what I'm doing because it worked yesterday. I just didn't have any music. So, if I put the music on, and then it didn't work, I might have to get my other phone, put some music on there, and then use that for the headphones separately whilst I can keep the Fitbit connected to my other phone. It sounds complicated. It shouldn't be this complicated. Why is it this complicated? Why? 17,056. Right. What's this now? Day 43 of the 365 project is done. Step target hit. I'm feeling good. Um, another positive way day. I think it was four, four, no, what was I on? 17, one, one, about five pound, I think. Five pound loss. I mean, it sounds like I'm being sceptical, you know? It sounds like I'm like, well, what, five pound? That ain't right. But, I mean, I did it like two or three times just to be sure that I wasn't getting a crazy reading. Like, so it puts me in uncharted territory. Every loss now is a loss towards, um, well, I'm not sure what it's a loss towards, but I mean, I'm not 21 stone anymore. So I'm assuming that's like massively, massively, massively positive. If there's a if there's people out there who uh, are subscribed and watching the the content, look no further than me. I mean, I'm I'm living proof. <laughs> I'm living proof of like a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of up and atom, a little bit of you know, it's cold and horrible, but I've still got to do my daily stuff because in the end game, you're only going to see results probably beyond your wildest dreams. So I mean. I wouldn't hesitate, mate, if you need to, you know, have a change, do something, fix it up a bit, you know, you want to be a bit more active, all of that, just do it, don't even think, don't even hesitate, and you'll see, you'll see rewards, like, they're going out of fashion. 
rant over. Now, prepare some tea and relax for the rest of the evening, I think. That's all I need to do. And prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably going to be one of the most off-it days of my life to date. Um, yeah, especially of recent times. So, I mean, it could also be the launch pad to Brigger, Brigger? Bigger, brighter, greater things and all the rest of that good stuff that comes along with it. But at the same token, it could also be a roadblock of which I need to reevaluate myself and come at it again. So, obviously, I will keep everyone informed of what's going on. So make sure to tune in to tomorrow's video because tomorrow's video is going to be dynamite! Dynamite. The 12th of February 2018 is done. Day 43 of the 365 project is finished. Um, and where do we start with today? Yeah. Nice, uh, nice relaxing journey in, dude. Kids must be on holiday or something, I don't know. Someone can tell me that in the comments, I suppose. But uh, very, very quiet on the roads, which was nice. And um, as normal, Mondays go pretty fast. Uh, decent, also being a Monday, the uh, scales were in play. And as you could hear from the video and see, it was another successful week with a loss. Um, making me... As I said before, the lightest I've been since Fitbits were a thing. Um, yeah, by two pound, I think. So, if I can keep that downward trend going, it's all about keeping chipping away and chipping away and chipping away. Uh, I was genuinely thinking that I was going to start to hit a level like plateau out and sort of have to up the work to get more of a loss, but that isn't seeming to be the case just yet. Um Definitely the way the nights are going as well. I've not had my coat on for the last two nights, so I've been able to sort of adapt to the surroundings and when I've been able to get me walking, plus it's staying lighter and all this good stuff. So, yeah, stuff to look forward to. Happy days. A couple more subscribers as well. Thank you for the support. I had a few people ask me about the work walk. Um, details aren't as of yet finalised, but uh, once I get things clear in my head, I'll uh, be certain to let you all know. And now we prepare for tomorrow, so thank you once again, and um, yeah, as I said before, be sure to tune in for tomorrow's episode, because uh, there's a good chance it's going to be dynamite! <laughs>